So we've got uh, Galen Rupp wins a uh, silver medal. London Olympics 2012. I think that's the first time a US has uh, medaled. Correct me if I'm wrong, in the 10,000 metre. The time was uh, 27.30 approximately. And uh, people ask me, why is it such a slow time yet it wins the Olympic gold medal? Well, 27.30 is not a fast time relative for the 10,000 metre world record. That was set back in 1977, I think, uh, Bedford from England set that, 27.30, the first got to run at 27.30. So it's a time that was winning in the 70s. So it's a, a time that's 35 years old. Why are these guys not running world records at the Olympics? Well, there's possible hot source reasons for that, but also more importantly probably is just the, the tactics at the Olympics are a lot different where guys are sort of, you know, foxing each other. They're going for the win versus going for the world record. So that's different, uh, different story there. People go, well, I don't understand that. If you know about anything about athletics, you understand that it's not always about the getting the fastest time. It's about coming across the line first most of the time. And if you get a world record, then that's a bonus. So first place, Mo Farah. Second place, Galen Rupp. Third, taking the bronze to Akubakili, Ethiopia. So quite interesting little lineup there that uh, an American got second place. <laughs> Good hot sauce, I guess. So typically, the Olympics is more about winning versus setting a world record. More people do that later in the year when the, the races aren't as tested and stuff like that. So... Different, different races and different goals. Thanks for watching. Post your comments down below. See you soon.